Hey everyone, Colin Humphrey. Today I want to talk about this phrase right here. Uh, this is something one of my followers sent in that they were having trouble with, so I wanted to talk about it and see what I would work on if I was learning this phrase. So the first thing that immediately jumps out to me is that, that flammadiddle right there. Now in their message they said that it was a, a rough, so I'm not sure if this notation is, is different from what's being played, but as written, that is played as if we're finishing out the phrase, right? So if uh, the notation is different and they're actually playing a rough, that's played as, right? So that would be the main thing that I would focus on in this uh, section here. Uh, now, when, when we look at these, I like to break them down into left hand and right hand to really focus on the mechanics of what we're playing, right? So on the flamadiddle, Nothing too difficult, right? When we play that by ourselves, we can we're probably pretty easily play that at any speed. Now we're looking for control, especially on the second half of a flamadiddle or a rough. We don't want uh, any, any, you know, just throwing the hands. Just getting a double by bouncing, no fingers, just by bouncing it. Because if we play it, play it at a slower tempo, all right, that's never going to come out even, right? Only when we have full control over the stick. Right? That's never going to sound good, right? So we want full control there. So uh, at the base of it, we take our left hand out. We concentrate on that for a while, even an hour, two hours, just sitting there playing that. When we put it back into context, the right hand's going to naturally do what it wants to do in that, in that scenario. Right? And that's another you know, hour, two hours you can spend on the flamadiddle itself, just getting that perfected. Finish out the phrase. Or alternatively, if that's being played as a rough. Uh, so the full phrase. Right? And after we tackle that flamadiddle there, the next thing I want to talk about is the space in between that first flam and the singles. Now, this is one of those secret uh, hardest things in this phrase, you know. Uh, the hardest thing is obviously the flamadiddle or the sticking around that. But the space not playing is also sometimes considered the hardest part, right? So if we're playing at a nice, easy tempo, and in grade three, maybe even grade four, this is going to be played pretty relaxed on the pipes, my guess would be. Right? So that pause right there, we don't want to rush into those singles. Right? We want to have a nice, even, uh, even notation there. Give that full pause. Right? If you have to give a little lift, give a little lift even. That's kind of what helps me along in uh, you know, achieving that pause there and giving that uh, note the full uh, value that it, that it is. So we're moving on. Right, those notes in between have gotten tough. Again, that's something we want to have control of, right? We don't want to rush through those. Right, we want to have those nice and even. Really internalize that. Same thing, even though the second one's a paradiddle, we want to really hit that accent. So uh, coming off that paradiddle, we have paradiddle tap, right? And that's another uh, building block I would lead into that, right? Start with. Same thing with the left, take the right hand out. Right, so we have the, the flamadiddle, sorry, and then the flamadiddle tap. Finish out the paradiddle. And keep that left hand low, right? It's not what we want. 
that whole phrase, my left hand isn't really going off the off the uh, the head more than two, three, four, five inches. I wanted to say two inches there, but in reality, when we say two inches, it ends up being more of a, a four or five inch there. Uh, in the first first half, right? We have that left hand accent, so it obviously comes up there. But in the second half, it's pretty much down the whole time. And that's something to look out for as well. Once you get that in the hands, making sure that your levels are, are correct and you're not, you know, playing up double flams or or burying uh, burying your accents by playing everything as an accent. Cool. So I hope that was a quick overview. Hope that helps. Uh, please feel free to reach out with any other phrases, questions, comments, and thank you so much to that uh, follower for sending that along. Uh, thanks again for watching, and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks.